All right, so we got the new Mavic Air 2, and we're gonna put it through a full battery flight test. So we're gonna see how long it can fly. It says 34 minutes. Is it 34 minutes? Is it 30 minutes? Is it 27? Well, let's find out. So this battery, I've flown a few different packs already, so it's got a few cycles under its belt. Let's see what it can do. Okay, so let's get this DJI Mavic Air 2 up in the air. And uh, you can see I've got a clock at the bottom of the screen. I also have a clock in the lower left-hand corner. Now, I've sped this video up about six times so that you don't have to sit there for a half an hour to watch this thing fly around. Now, I'm going to fly it around a little bit. Um, right now, I think I'm working on a droney. Um, just kind of setting some parameters. Uh, it was in meters. I want it in feet. Uh, there we go. Look at that droney in action. I'll show that to you here. Uh, but, you know, it does some pretty neat things. We're looking at the quick shots here, uh, just kind of going through, seeing what else it can do. Uh, we see uh, the 360 degree photo. We're going to do that. Now, this is a 2D video so you're not going to be able to see the the glorious spinning around of the 360 degree camera um but it's a pretty neat feature actually you can upload that on facebook i'm pretty sure actually i know you can because i've done it before on a lot of different features so as you see we're about six minutes into the flight let me tell you a little bit about this drone um you know it, it does have an advertised 34 minute flight time which is pretty impressive now you can see that i'm mostly hovering the drone now, 34 minutes is not at a hover, but at a kind of a constant um, constant motion, not fighting wind. Uh, so in ideal best case scenario, you're going to get 34 minutes, right? You're not going to get 34 minutes in almost any time you take this out, but you should be able to get 30 minutes, right? Uh, that, that seems reasonable. Now, depending on how you fly, the wind, all, there are so many different factors that go into flight time. It's really kind of hard to predict. So, um, you know, we're hovering here again, not the best scenario. My little daughter's trying to help me there. You know, I got a little bored. I figured getting a little workout, you know, why not? Now I'm tired. So I'm going to sit down and uh, just kind of play around with it a little bit. Have a, have a drink. Um, sparkling water, of course. Uh, just watching uh, the drone here. Let's move around a little bit, fly around the neighborhood, uh, over this pond, take a, take a quick peek. Now, the camera on this thing is pretty awesome. Now, Dr uh, Chris is doing a full review of the camera and the HDR. And, and uh, gosh, let me tell you, that HDR video is just phenomenal. Love it. Now, here I'm trying the A-Pass system, right? I'm seeing if it'll avoid that tree, which it does. Um, I was a little nervous, but uh, of course it did. I, it won't let me fly in the camera, which is good. Um, you know, the A-Pass system works quite well. Uh, remember, there is only obstacle avoidance on the front and the rear of this thing, so none on the side. So if you're flying sideways, you're, you're doing a circle, that's going to be an issue. Now I'm going to get a little video of the drone. I actually didn't like the way that turned out. That's why you're not going to see it here. Um, but, you know, it's it's a good little quad. Uh, it's starting to rain a little bit, so I open up that umbrella. Let's get it under there and out of the rain. It's a really light rain. I'm not super worried about it, but uh, let's uh, just kind of get it in there. Now, I'm playing with a gimbal a little bit. This gimbal has some awesome travel. Uh, good look up angle. You can see I'm, I'm looking up at the sky. That's impressive. It is, you know what, it is just a really, really good drone. Um, you know, it's it's hard to go wrong here. $800, you get so much for this thing. Uh, AccuSync 2.0, we did a range test. So if you want to see, you know, how it compares to the original Mavic Air, the Mini, uh, and the Mavic 2 series with the AccuSync 2.0, uh, we've done that as well. Uh, we've got some other things. We did a first impressions, kind of like a mini review. Uh, kind of haven't had this long enough to do a full review on it. Uh, Chris is working on a uh, detailed video on, on this camera and the HDR and the panos and some of the different modes. Um, we're also going to do videos comparing it to the mini. So if you're kind of debating, should I get this? Should I get the mini? Or, you know, is this, do I get this or do I get the Mavic, one of the Mavic 2s, the Zoom of the Pro? We'll look at that for you. Uh, we're going to do a full tutorial on the flight modes and kind of walk you through that using the app. This controller is new, so we're going to take a look at that as well. And then, of course, we're going to do a full comparison. Uh, how do the picture quality, uh, how does the picture quality of this compare to all of the other Mavic drones 
as well as the Parrot Anafi um, and the Autel Evo, right? So we'll do some comparisons on this drone. All there on our website, halfchrome.com. If you haven't been there, you're going to go ahead and want to check that out. We've got lots of good stuff for you. So uh, at 15% battery, I'm getting that warning um, that I should probably bring it in. And uh, now at 10%, I have to bring it down. So I'm going to go ahead and set it down for just over 28 minutes of flight. I'm going to land here with 9% battery, right? So 28 I think it touches down 28, 21 at uh, 9%. That means I should be able to get another two and a half minutes or so before it falls out of the sky. Uh, but yeah, we're looking at 30 minutes on this flight if I wanted to keep going. Okay, so no, we did not hit that 34 minute mark. Of course we didn't. We're not in flying in ideal situations. Tiny bit of wind, lots of hovering, moving back and forth, uh, changing directions. You know, so could I get 34 minutes? Gosh, I don't know, maybe in ideal situations, but you're gonna be able to get over 30 uh, probably almost every time out of the gates, you know, probably to be safe. 25 to 28 is probably what you're looking at uh, to, to kind of land before your battery gets under 10%. You really don't want to drain your battery all the way to the end because that's bad for your battery. Anyway, hopefully this was helpful. If it was, hey, you know what? Uh, click on those links below. They are affiliate links. They help us to keep making videos for you. And check us out on halfchrome.com. Good luck and happy flying.